I'm HP, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Fall Out Boy's Save Rock and Roll, the album. I've always loved Fall Out Boy from the first album. To me, Fall Out Boy has always been one of those bands that create songs with intelligence and spite and just the right amount and arrangement of rock. I hear a lot of rock that is missing that spark. It's the pleasure of really dissing someone with your brain. So when I heard about Save Rock and Roll coming out, I was ecstatic. It had been forever. I was ready for some new Fall Out Boy music. However, my excitement quickly shifted to anger and confusion and just pure frustration when I heard the album for the first time. Was it something that sounded fantastic? Was it something new that still managed to represent this band that I've loved forever? Almost! It was so close to being perfect, in fact, that something tragic like this almost had to happen. And while most people are going to think I'm being petty, I have got to stress to you that what I'm about to rant about is absolutely something tragic in my mind. When a band chooses such a strong album title, they have to be careful to construct that body of work in a way that will represent the glorious titles that it's been given. Fall Out Boy is always big in what they do, and so Save Rock and Roll, that's saying something, right? That's saying something to all their fans and everybody else that knows about them. Save Rock and Roll is a strong title. It might be simple, but the idea of it, or what I felt like it represented, is not simple. It's got a lot of kick behind it. It made my expectations through the roof, okay? I was expecting a lot out of this album before I even heard the first song. Which, by the way, they did not disappoint on. The first song was great, and, and that was even more misleading, in my opinion. I feel like Fall Out Boy made one major serious flaw in the tools that they chose to use to construct this album. One part of that album is seriously hindering to my soul and my rock music loving heart. You cannot put Courtney Love on an album titled Save Rock and Roll. You don't put somebody who helped to snuff out some of the fire that was in it before on an album with that title. What are you thinking? Why? Why would you even want her on there to start with? It's not like she's talented and they're making money off of this still. I was so conflicted. This really hurt me as a music fan and as a Nirvana fan. It really hurt my heart and it left me feeling conflicted and confused and angry, okay? I was angry about it. I love Fall Out Boy, why would they do this to me? Why would they do this to rock and roll? This was a marketing ploy, straight up. It had to be. There's no other explanation. In my mind, if you think there's another explanation, then shoot. That's what the comment section's for. And I realize this is not a new album, but I just started doing reviews like this. And when I decided to do these reviews, this was the first thing on my mind because I have been upset about it since the album came out. Uh-huh, that long. And actually, I was so upset about it that I waited a year before I even bought it. <sighs> I'm getting all upset here. I enjoy most of that album almost all of it, all with that one song. So what I did was, instead of buying a physical copy like I love to do, I know I'm a big fat music dork, go ahead, say things, it's fine, I don't care. I always want to buy a physical copy of an album if I can. My heart would not let me do that this time. I bought the album track by track, excluding the one with Courtney Love on it. Only later to find that she was in the Save Rock and Roll video because I have listened to the music, but I hadn't seen the videos that they put out. And I only watched the Save Rock and Roll video, so I don't know what the other ones are about in the Save Rock and Roll video. I watched that today just because I wanted to speak a little bit about Elton John being on this album because I was happy about that. He's perfect to be on that. Elton John is a rock legend. Perfect for this album. That is one of the perfect tools, so kudos. You should use him. He was a good match. I'm not even a fan of features unless it's like a perfect match. And I really wish that they would not have done so many on this album because they're so much better on their own. Fall Out Boy is epic on their own. Why bring someone else in unless they're just the perfect fit and this is something that just needs to be done because we owe it to music to make this collaboration. Fall Out Boy does not need anyone else to make themselves sound good. 
But anyways, Courtney Love was in the video for Save Rock and Roll. Why? I don't know. That's not even the song that she was on. I don't know if any other Nirvana fans are pissed about this or have been pissed about this, but I feel like I've been kicked in the chest by one of the bands that I love. Most people don't even care enough to feel that way, but... I do! I feel kind of betrayed in a way. That song really put a damper on the whole album for me. I don't feel for it like I would have had it never been there. Excluding that song, let's take it out, pretend like it wasn't there. If that were the case, I would probably look you straight in the eyes and say, this is an amazing album. It's perfect. And if you haven't bought it yet, what are you waiting on? A lot of the songs are just constructed perfectly and to be honest with you, the writing style that comes along with Fall Out Boy was something that my heart really missed. I love their writing style. They've got so much attitude and spite and cleverness. I love it when songwriters are clever. When there are people out there who don't get the lyrics because they're so clever, it makes it all that more satisfying to the people who do get it. It's really hard for me to pick a favorite. Something else that I've always associated with Fall Out Boy is extreme. They're extremely whatever they are in each song. The music pairs up with the lyrics. It just creates a full-blown feeling. Not all musicians are as talented in this as Fall Out Boy is. I find them few and far between artists that have that talent to really m capture and magnify a feeling and a moment that you have. And I find their music very therapeutic in most cases. Just to wrap this up, I feel like Save Rock and Roll was a good album. I feel like it could have been one of my favorites had one of their features not been on that album. I think it would have even been more fantastic if they would have cut out most of their features. I would have been fine with just Elton John being on that album. Most of the songs are really good. They sound like Fall Out Boy. They feel like Fall Out Boy. But I, I really wish that they would not have hurt my heart the way they did. And in the grand scheme of things, my opinion really doesn't matter that much. But I'm giving it to you anyways because that's what this channel is for. Tell me how you feel about this album. Right, let's see. Let's have a... What's your first question, girl? Go for it. Where's Captain Kirk? Captain Kirk? Where's Captain Kirk? Hmm, I ain't got a clue.